So filthy rich is an expression used to describe people who gain a lot of money through dishonorable means. And that's not what I'm trying to talk about over here. So if you have the time and patience to listen till the end, you'll find out what my story is. And I'm pretty sure you'll be happier afterwards. So just by the fact that you're sitting and and or standing, watching my video and listening to me talking, I know a few things about you. I know that you can see and hear, and you have electricity, your own private computer or phone, and you probably have a lot more things that go along with these. And I'm sure there are also people in your life. And most of what you have, I guess, can fall into the category of necessities and luxuries. Like there are those things that you need every day, and when you don't have them, you're pretty upset about it. And it's the same with people. There are people that you need all the time. And there are things and people that you need less often. But they do make you very happy when you have an opportunity to use them. So the idea here is that whatever you've got that is a necessity, you don't usually notice how much you appreciate it until it's not there either temporarily or permanently. So take a minute here and there throughout your day and think about all the wonderful things that you've got. And it's very well known that people who count their blessings are much happier. They're usually looking at the good side of things. They're appreciative and they're respectful. They don't just take all their necessities as their rights, that if they all of a sudden don't have them for whatever reason, then they get all angry and upset. Where have my rights been taken away to? Instead, they're just happy and appreciative for what they have, and use them much more to their benefit while they have them. So what, whatever you have, think about it, you know, I went to buy shoes today for my little boy and he used his other pair of shoes very well. And we bought a new pair and I hope he uses it very well too. And before I threw his shoes into the garbage, since that's what they were worth after a year of use. I told him, say thank you to your shoes. Not that the shoes need to be thanked, but he needs to learn to appreciate his shoes. You know, if you can walk on the street without stepping on hard pebbles and other things which are not so friendly, and you can get a new pair of shoes easily enough, that's something that people don't always think about. And there are many more things, like whenever my hot water gets shut off, I think to myself, oh, when it gets turned back on, I will be so happy. And guess what? I am. <laughs> and there are the luxury items. Look here at this beautiful Stradivarius violin. It's called the Messiah Stradivarius because it's one of those that were made by the Italian family Stradivari. And according to um, most people, 
their quality of their sound is legendary. So they're worth a lot of money. And they're usually uh, put in museums to be preserved. Not so much used, but I guess if you would use it, if you'd know how to use it, you'd appreciate its magnificent, magnificent sound. But not everyone appreciates music so much. And then here's this vase, or vase. It's from Imperial China. It shows a beautiful, intricate scene of cranes and deer. And it's also worth millions of dollars. But not everyone needs a vase like that. And not everyone wants a vase like that. It's significant only to the people who appreciate it. Since art is sort of subjective, not everyone needs it, not everyone wants it. So not everyone really appreciates or respects it for what it is. And likewise with other items of value or other people or other things. If people don't have much use for them and don't understand their function, then they don't have much respect for it. And they have no problem misusing or abusing or defacing things that are insignificant in their own eyes. So sometimes you have to just go by what the person or people who put in the work and the craftsmanship and even if you don't personally appreciate it, you should still be respectful of all those things that you may not need or want, but still have some value. They have function. They're worth something. Somebody worked hard. Somebody tried to do their best to make something that other people would like. Or at least that they themselves would like. So in that way, people should have appreciation and respect for everything around them, whether or not they actually need it. Now if you would come along and buy one of my beautiful oil landscape paintings and present it to your close friend or relative as a gift, and then come back one day and find them eating dinner on it literally on it, like they're using it as their plate. You get pretty angry, because you spent a small fortune on it. And I'd be pretty upset, because I spent time and effort. And you'd say, you're not showing respect for someone else's work, and for my gift that I gave to you. You'd be pretty angry. So, these items, this violin, it's not a dinner plate, and the imperial vase, it's not a beer bottle. So try to treat the things with the right respect and appreciation for what they deserve. And then you'll be much happier. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.